Join the Illinois Tollway at Contracting with Government, a roadmap for business opportunities. This event will be held on Friday, November 8th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the South Shore Cultural Center in Chicago. This is a great opportunity for small, diverse, and veteran-owned businesses to get the tools they need to succeed by connecting with experts on procurement from the Illinois Tollway and other state government agencies. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Intercepted, brought to you by Illinois Tollway. Um, I have a special guest this week, uh, my guy, uh, my running mate on the back end, man, my guy, Jaquan Brisker, man. Yes, sir. Appreciate you showing up, man. Appreciate you for having me, my guy. So, uh, I've been waiting to get you on for a while. I definitely had to get you on, but it was a perfect time. So, let's talk about the game, first and foremost. Um, lost two straight, got a big win at home against the Rams yesterday. Um, the crowd was electric. Uh, but one reason why I had to bring you on this week, dog, you balled out like crazy, bro. Your stat line was 12 tackles, pick, should have been two picks, bro. Really. Yeah, should have been, been two picks. Been two. A pick, a sack, two tackle for losses, bro. You went straight beast mode, bro. How you was feeling yesterday? I was feeling great, especially during the week. Um, was getting picks. Yeah, was, you was. all over the place and things like that. So I was like, man, it's a big NFC game. It's time. Sure. And we're at home. So 100%. I'm like, I'm feeling it for sure. I feel great. Bro, you had a career game. Like, have you ever had for a sure. game like that before? Like, whether right if it was in the league or college, you've had a game with that much. Like, like we said, we looked at the um, – the production sheet, bro. Your production sheet was off the charts, bro. Mm -hmm. Like it was crazy, dog. In college, I, I did, and then in junior college, I did, but not. Yeah, yeah. I, I wouldn't say the interceptions and sacks in the same game, but definitely right, right. a game like that before. Yeah, bro. I mean, secondary was balling out. I mean, it was crazy. Just even just looking at the whole game, like obviously some things we can work on. You know what I'm saying? That's mm -hmm. always gonna be like that every game, but just the way we played, man, to be able to come out on fire. Like I said, the the crowd was incredible. The crowd was crazy. Um, we haven't lost any home games yet this year. I think I've so seen a far. stat where we have have won like seven or eight straight eight at home. Eight straight, yeah, eight straight so far. So I think that's like leading the league right now. Mm -hmm. So we our home for the advantage is crazy. So obviously we got a big game coming up against Carolina this week. Yep. We got to keep that rolling so we can go to London. For sure, and definitely. Keep doing our thing. Um, but no, nah, I was definitely proud of you, bro. Like I told you that on the sideline, I told you during the game. For sure. I was like, dog, you, you, you made some money out there, you <laughs> yeah. feel me? But that's how you want to be, you know what I'm saying? Like you, you, you really. You really showed up and showed out for us in, in, in a big way, so definitely happy about that. Um, we can shift the conversation a little bit, man, because I want to – we had this um, – we had both commented on, on Twitter, but this guy, Mel Kuyper, right, I, I, I hate that I'm giving him some clout right now, but <laughs> he made a crazy statement talking about the lead need to banish high. two high safeties. <sighs> like, I just want to touch on it because, like, it made no sense. Because, like, I guess he tried to use the example of, like, Back in the day when, like, when Mel Blunt was playing with the Pittsburgh mm -hmm. Steelers, like, there was no such thing as, like, you know, like, illegal kind Like, pretty much saying, like, he was at the line of scrimmage just grabbing guys up. So then it's like, okay, you can't touch guys that early or whatever. Or it's going to be P.I. or whatever. Right. So he talking about, well, they should do the same thing because offense ain't scoring no points. Mm -hmm. And my thing, and I'm like, bro, well, quarterbacks just got to read it. It's plenty of two beaters. You know what I'm saying? Like, how do you feel about the whole conversation? Because I think it's just wild, in my opinion. Really, I feel like it's crazy. Um, I feel like... You know, him just bringing that up just proved that he has no knowledge of the game <laughs> to me, like, in that aspect. Because no, just banning, like, too high, I mean, if you think about it, like, you just got a game plan and stuff like that. Like, 100%. to get him out of too high, run the ball, figure out a way to run just the ball. Or, there, you just, know what I'm or saying? passing game-wise, there's plenty of, of ways to get downfield and things like that. People will even get burnt playing too right, high right. sometimes. 100%. You know what I mean? Especially and I, in quarters. That's what I'm saying. I really think people just want to see, like, 60 point games or something like mm -hmm. that, bro. Like, at the they end of the day, bro, we got to play games. defense. You exactly. feel what I'm saying? Like, and fans love defense. Bro, the athletes that's out here now, like, honestly, even just watching college football the other night, bro. 17 year old. Bro, this <laughs> dude is cold. Bro, bro. crazy. The catch he made on the sideline, I ain't going to lie, I don't think I've ever seen anything with the as spin athletic, cycle. bro. Spent, spin cycle. Then hit up. Ooh. Got it, bro. That shit was crazy. It was and crazy. honestly, even the young guy from uh, Ohio State, nice too. Oh yeah, uh, oh, Jeremiah. Four, yeah, uh, he's nice. He had a couple one-handers too. Yeah, a couple um, catches. He's been going crazy consistently. And he a crazy. freshman. They both freshmen. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like with the athletes that's coming out out of college now, bro. Like you can't just sit there and single high safety or just play man Definitely all day, Definitely not the bro. whole game. It's not gonna happen, bro. Like you said, you're gonna end up seeing basketball numbers, bro. Exactly. Here. 
and I get it's exciting, but at the end of the day, defense win championships. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's always been like that. Exactly. And people love the hard nose um, defenses thing like that. It's been Especially built. in Chicago. Exactly. I'm, 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 I'm definitely getting doc indoctrinated for sure. Like, <laughs> um, like I said, defense, man. This is this is what it's about here in Chicago. Cause like I said, when we out there on the field, like the fans be turned. They bruh. be turned. They be turned up. Stadium be going crazy. They love us, bro. Nah, the energy it's amazing. Is crazy. The energy's crazy. Energy I'm is telling crazy. you, it's crazy. So, uh, <laughs> so let's get on more on the personal side. You know what I'm saying? So, let's talk about you, high school. So I know you play football and basketball. Yeah. First, I want to ask you, which one was your first love? Did you love football first or basketball? What I was love, your favorite? I love football first, but at first I was like, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a balance, and then I realized I'm like. Do I want to be LeBron James or do I want to be, <laughs> at the time, I probably want to say, was it AP? It was like a, a running back that was my favorite, maybe LaDainian Thompson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, man, I want to be scoring touchdowns. Nah, you right. know what I mean? I want to be scoring touchdowns. So you, was all, you play offense. You was yeah, offense, right? Yeah. So what, what all you play in, in, uh, in high school? In high school, I played receiver. I played running back, um, a little wildcat quarterback. Right, right. But really just a slot and outside receiver. So you didn't play a lot of defense in high school. I play. I play. Um, I started off as at corner at first. Got gotcha. you. So and you then, just an athlete. You was playing yeah. everywhere. That's kind of mm -hmm. how I was in high school. Yeah. I play. It's funny because I started off playing quarterback, and then, <laughs> and I, swear, I was lefty. Played quarterback. <laughs> my dad wanted to be the next McNabb. I swear to God, my dad wanted to be McNabb. But I played quarterback. I ain't move. I ain't start playing defense till my junior year of high school. I was a quarterback all the way until I started running track. So I got fast with track, and then my dad was like, "Well, not my dad. My coach." Was like, bro, I think you'll look good on them hashes. Oh, so I started I playing you, safety. I remember you did, was saying that. That's yeah, so crazy. I played safety. And then my senior year, they brought like a new, like we had, our head coach had left the school. We brought a new head coach. And he brought his own quarterback. Mm -hmm. He was nice, though. I ain't going to lie. So then that's when I played receiver. I was playing receiver. And on defense, it just depends on like what game. The game was. Yeah, like if it was a good running back, I was down there playing Sam linebacker. Like yeah. I was playing linebacker. <laughs> then I played safety. Then I played corner. Just one anywhere game, they get, needed you. Anywhere they needed me, bro. How far could you throw? Uh, really? So out there playing quarterback. At least 65, bro. 65? I ain't gonna lie. I, I was throwing it. that joint. I, I ain't gonna lie. We I was both left handed. You I feel me? It. I believe I can't throw it good no more, bro. His shoulder ain't working like that no more, but I was solid, bro. But like I said, you play basketball. What you play basketball? I play um, the three. The three? The three. And then sometimes the four if they needed me to get physical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know how best no, going They just be throwing fact. anybody in there. But I'm saying, but like, if, <laughs> did you get heavy recruited like for basketball or just football? No, just football. Basketball, it was like just some little letters, but nothing crazy. Because you know, yeah, yeah. you got to have crazy handles. And I ain't nah, going to sit fact. here and lie. I ain't had the best handles. I'm <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. and I'm only 6'2". Nah, fast, fast. <laughs> That's cool. But now, so obviously, coming out of high school, you had to take the Juco route, right? Yep. So how was that? Because... Like, obviously, I played with some guys in college that went to Juco. Obviously, mm -hmm. just really just the Juco mentality, you know what I'm saying? Like, talk about that. Like, how was the Juco experience and just talking about taking the Juco ride high school? How really, the um, Juco ride was crazy. Just the mentality. Um, when you first get in there, you really don't know too many people at Not all. Fact. You really don't know anybody at all. You just know the coach who recruited you, mm -hmm. and you're just really in, in, a, in like, a – a building, a building full of football players, and right. um, you sharing like what three to four players in there, maybe five, That's and crazy. everybody just got curtains on like it's their own room. Like we got really? curtains, like seriously, like Getting like like, I, not, like when you walk in there, like it's just like a, a open space. But obviously, um, you know, there's like a bed in the corner, a bed right. in the corner, a bed in the corner, a bed in the corner. So um, guys would just like put like little sheets mm -hmm. as like they room. They look, we call it huts. That's what we call it. We was like, you know, my hut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we call it. We was like, yeah, this is my hut. So we just put up like our huts. That's what we call it, like little sheets. That's and that was crazy. our room. So like people want to see us like get dressed or we'll nah, just have right. some you know privacy when we're laying down things yeah, like yeah. that. But um, sometimes like. Obviously, um, roommates that you know you'll vibe with. Sometimes, like you'll turn out, like you tear down your hut, yeah, so you yeah, can just vibe, vibe things like that. And um, really, crazy. It, yeah, it was crazy. Just the mentality in there was just. Um, I, I remember my dad dropping me off. Like, man, you'll make it here. There ain't nothing else at home. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, man, I gotta make it. So that's real. I just like um, when I first got there, it was just like I'm not here really to play games. I'm here to right. just do school. And the football part is the easiest, so I really was exactly. just there to, you know, learn how to be a student and things mm -hmm. like that. Lock so, in. Yeah. Have nah, that's lit. Because sure. like I said, just because honestly, like, every person that I've met that either made it to, well, really made it to the pro from Juco, they all got that same mentality, like that get it out the mud mentality. Cause, yeah. Nah, like you said, that's real. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because you did two years at Juco? Yep, two years. I can only imagine, bro, you in the hut 
Two years, that's two real. Year, bro, two years. And it's just like, you know, the same, the same, you seen the same thing. Like I remember looking at the ceiling like, man, when am I going to get up out of here? Right, like, right. I was like every single day because it's just like just staring at it outside. You know, it felt like we was in a globe, like literally just walk to class and walk back. Like it was mm -hmm. like the same routine every single day. Class was only like, what, two minute walk, not even? Because nah, it was right, literally... Right. Um, you walk up the street, school's right there, and then you yeah. walk back down. That's the yeah, building. It's pretty much like community college. Yeah, you know exactly. Saying? And then the football um, stadium, like the football practice, we had to walk. We had to walk through tracks and things like that, through bushes mm -hmm. and things like that, grass field, like really juco football. And, like, I mean, <laughs> really embraced it and things like that. But it really, nah, yeah, it really was crazy. Nah, well, you definitely embodied just that juco mentality by the way you play. You could just tell, you know what I'm saying, the chip on your shoulder, uh, the hunger that you play with. So I have to ask you this. So... What was your go-to JUCO snack meal <laughs> joint? Cause trust me, I know you yeah. feel me. That JUCO, that JUCO life is real. What was your like go go-to little snack joint? Man, like my, your favorite little JUCO meal? My guys know me. I used to uh, go to this little this little store or maybe a Walmart and do the little tuna. Cause my my mom <laughs> and my dad used to be like tuna. That's our protein. Yeah, so yeah, I used yeah. to I used to um, do the tuna. It's like the little starfish yeah, tuna where you little rips and you take the water out. 100%. And then you, um, Drain it out. Mayonnaise and um, what's that green? It's my relish. Yeah, relish. The relish. Yeah, the relish <laughs> my mom used to the, make um, that all the time, bro. <laughs> that tuna fish sandwich. Yeah. With the, That's um, hilarious. And you know how you get the variety of chips? Mm -hmm. I used to get the variety of chips with like apple juice was my favorite water. Yeah, and yeah. And then yeah. like at night, we used to do push ups at night. We'll be, okay. I think we, what, 150, 200 push ups before we go to bed? Okay. And then um, peanut butter jelly sandwiches every time. And go then, to. bro, I remember I gained, I was like 205, 210 by my second year. Really? But I was put on weight. That tuna fish. Weight, you ain't you. had no noodles? You ain't eat no noodles? I had, we had noodles because we had a little um, microwave downstairs. Okay, I used to I always, you. we used to, I was uh, automatic. That was like a little, that was like a little snack after practice, but like, um, right, like, like right, like my go-to was definitely that, that tuna, tuna, man. And then that night, peanut butter and jelly trench work. Hey, real <laughs> talk, get it out the mud, bro. For real. That's that juco struggle. It's funny because, like I said, my mama used to make the same thing. She used to make a big bowl of that tuna fish, bro. Mm -hmm. Put it in the refrigerator. Like, y'all get hungry, yeah. this is what y'all eating. Don't ask me to make y'all nothing to eat. <laughs> Bro, get that bread, dog. That's all you have, bro. That bread. That's funny, bro. That brought bad memories bro. for sure. So, and then I also looked up, bro. You had a game in college, bro, or no, not when the game a season where you had like eleven sacks, bro. Mm -hmm. Was that a game or a season? Was, that was a season, bro. That was a season. I'm trying to figure out, bro. Like, how did you get eleven sacks <laughs> at safety, bro? Like, I'm like, bro, was you with a three point? Like, what's up? Like, that's crazy. <laughs> So we went, so we changed our defense from three three five. We had three athletic safeties who could play everywhere. So they put me in a boundary. Yeah. And like this one game, um, coach said, I don't know, coach said it, because after the game he was like, you was just blitzing. I was like, yeah, <laughs> just going, yeah. making plays. I think I had like maybe three or four sacks against um, Nassau. They they call him. Um, okay. So yeah, like yeah. it's like they jet it. They jetted to the field, and I was in the boundary, and I used to just – I came off, probably had like three or four, and then the them other ones were just off, like the tackle from the field. It just mm -hmm. all depends how we disguise yeah. it, but they just schemed it up to where Coach Duda was just sending me. Coach Reese, you know, shout mm -hmm. out, you know, those coaches. Coach Duda taught me how to, you know, pass rush and things like yeah. that. He used to play in the league too. Um, he was an NFL star too, so he taught me how to, you know, do my hand movements and things like yeah. that. So I really detailed that, and then – I just wanted to be an all-around player, so I ended up I'm with 11 sacks. Crazy, crazy bro. bro. Crazy. I'm about to say, I haven't <laughs> – only person I've seen get that many – like Jamal Adams had like yeah, nine sacks or yeah. something like that, but like 11 sacks is crazy, bro. <laughs> so obviously you took that, you know what I'm saying, then you obviously went to Penn State. Yep. How was that your experience, your two years at Penn State? Like yeah. I know that was lit up there. It, it was it was, it was was a crazy experience, especially um, – being up there, you're like the NFL stars because there's no, no exactly. NFL team. 100%. And then um, the fans love you, um, the school as well, um, the football team, you know, they're, they're competitive and things mm -hmm. like that. We win games, things like that. So it was a great experience, yeah. you know, seeing them uh, 110,000 every single crazy. game, every single home game. Crazy, Was you a bro. part of that that the game, that uh, that whiteout game that I always be showing? It was like, yeah, Michigan. Was it Michigan? Yeah, Michigan. How was that, Joel? It was, bro, uh, the, first, the first time, <laughs> that was my first whiteout. I couldn't hear any. It's like I thought my ears was about to. I'm like, bro, Damn. they're that loud. Like I Red. thought my ears was about to blow out. I'm like, bro, no way. Like it was that loud. Like, you, like I'm telling you, I'm like, bro, I believe this is it. Crazy. I just be seeing that joint because, like I said, you'll see it on TV or you'll see it like on social media. Popular yeah, they keep they like, keep bringing it up every time. And then they got it in the game now. Yeah. 
Yeah. Like I said, I think if you play Penn State, the whiteout, they played the Obama joint like going crazy. Every time. Yeah, Dang, that, that's that's that lit, experience bro. was crazy, but the whiteout, the stripes, you know, any theme, home or away, you know, that it was a great experience at Penn State and I'm glad I, I went there. Nah, for sure. Actually, that was close to the crib too, because how far how far is Penn State from Pittsburgh? Two out two hours. Two hours. So yep. the fan was able to come up to a lot of yeah, games. Yeah, the fan came like up that. to every single game. You know, we used to um after the game, the family used to always come up to the crib and we used to just vibe. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. vibe. My my own people used to always cook or someone used to always bring up food and we used to always just joke, you know, play cards, <laughs> things like that. It was a great time. No, nah, that's lit. That's lit. <laughs> so now before we get out of here, man, I definitely want to um talk about this other subject because if anybody, if any of y'all follow Briss on social media, Twitter, Instagram, whatever, all his captions is always the standard. No mm -hmm. comparisons, you know yep. what I mean? Like, Obviously, I know what that means, but I want you to explain, like, what does that mean to you when you say the standard, uh, when you put that on your social media? Like, what does that mean to you, the standard? Yeah, really just no comparisons. Like, you know, you can't compare me to anybody. You know, mm -hmm. I'm myself um, that, you know, I'm just focused on me. You know, I'm not really worried about, you know, you know, too many things, you know, I'm just really focused on me and um, that there's a, you know, a standard every single day and For that's sure. just um, greatness um, that I see every single day and just to, you know, don't compare and I see a lot of, you know, people like, oh, he's like this or he's like mm -hmm. that or just like, just that. growing up, I'm like, man, I don't like that. Nah, like, just tough. no comparisons at all. Like, don't compare, you know, no one does what I do and things like that. So yeah. that's how, you know, I see it. No, nah, I love that because, I mean, I always feel like comparisons first and foremost, is, they say comparison is a thief of all joy. You know what I'm saying? So, like, when you out here doing anything, you know what I'm saying? Like, to compare yourself to another person that maybe, you know what I'm saying? I feel like it could, it could really have, it can mess up your mind in a mm -hmm. way. You know what I'm saying? Because you can look at what somebody else is doing. You can start comparing yourself to them or somebody's comparing yourself to you. Like, nah, like, you do you. Exactly. And like, it allows you to be free mm -hmm. and play, you know what I'm saying? Play at the level. And like you said, when you talk about the standard, um, obviously... Most people don't see the stuff behind closed doors, you know what I'm saying? You talk about the standard, that's an everyday thing. Every day. Not only just what you see on game day, but mm -hmm. it's like practice, yep. your routine and everything you do. Because obviously, you know what I'm saying, like, right in training camp, since I've been here for the past year, like, you practice extremely hard, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I think uh, it, it fits you, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Like, I really love that, you know what I'm saying, the standard. You should, you probably should trademark that joint. Yeah, I, see I, if you get it I, already, have, I already tried to trademark it. Yeah. Oh, you so, couldn't get it? We, no, we're still cooking it up. Oh, you cooking it up all day? Keep, that guy keep yeah, keeping it moving. Bro, you gotta, gotta get that trademark. Yeah, I got bro. a hoodie coming out pretty soon. Yeah, you know, I, you see it on my shoes yesterday, nah, fast, fast. like that. So, nah, yeah, we definitely dog. doing a little movement with that pretty soon. Yeah, nah, the standard now. That's that's definitely you right there, bro. Yeah, appreciate that, buddy. Nah, guy. for sure. Appreciate you, dog, yeah, man. Appreciate hey, you for having me. Brisker has been intercepted, man. So thank you guys for watching, man. Tune in for the next episode. Come on, man. Best safety's in the league, man. Thanks for watching Intercepted. Make sure to stay glued to the recap for new episodes all season here on YouTube.